Friday afternoon, everyone. Let's have a look at this morning's low temperatures. It's been colder this morning than we have been in a long time. 27 degrees was the low in Saranac Lake. Not surprising our coldest spot of the day here to start off. 37 in St. J, 40 for a low in Burlington, 38 degrees in Plattsburgh. So we started off a little behind schedule on those temperatures and we will remain below average for the afternoon. Only at 51 now in Burlington, 47 degrees in Plattsburgh. We had a taste of this cool weather earlier in the week. A break from it yesterday. It's back, but the sun is shining, so I don't think it feels too bad. Enjoy this Friday, you guys. It's shaping up to be brisk, but really, really pleasant out. A little warmer to the south. Springfield at 54 degrees, 56 in Bennington at the moment. Here's that sunshine, plenty of it. There's barely anything showing up besides a, high, a few high wispy clouds over our area here on Storm Tracker. Uh, we will find a few more of those clouds filling out overnight tonight, but other than that, we're in pretty good shape throughout the rest of the day. Cool, dry, sunny. Enjoy. We do have a frost possible for a big chunk of our area overnight tonight as temperatures actually drop even a little bit cooler than they were this morning for parts of this area. Uh, we will also have a potential for some rain as we head into the weekend, but the good news is that it's not a lot of rain. Here's the view from Burlington with that nice, beautiful blue sky. Uh, a few colors showing up in the trees in town there. We do have temperatures sitting in those low and mid 50s throughout the rest of the afternoon, despite some of that sunshine. And like I said, a few clouds in and out, especially late tonight, but over Overall, things are quiet all the way through early tomorrow morning. Notice after sunset, though, how quickly temperatures drop. We're in the upper 40s by about 7 o'clock, mid 40s by 9 o'clock. And tomorrow morning is going to be a cool start to your day, you guys. Now, I do want to note that the Champlain Valley is under a frost advisory, parts of the Connecticut River Valley, too. Then you've got your freeze warning in the higher elevations of the northern Green Mountains. Temperatures in all these places could be in the low and mid 30s, but particularly where that freeze warning is, as well as the Adirondacks and Northeast Kingdom, temperatures may be even dipping down into the 20s. We don't have the advisories or the alerts in the Northeast Kingdom or Adirondacks because technically the growing season is over there. But regardless, everyone's going to be pretty cold tomorrow. And if you've got potted plants outside or anything like that, it's definitely a good idea to bring those indoors because uh, they might be killed by that cold, cold air. So mums and things like that, bring them in if they're potted. 38 or so for a low in Burlington tomorrow morning, 37 in Plattsburgh. So another chilly start to the day. But the high peaks of the Adirondacks and Green Mountains definitely potentially down into the 20s, uh, which is why those frost advisories and freeze warnings are in effect. Tomorrow morning lows in the Connecticut River Valley could easily dip into the upper 30s too. So here's that nice, mostly clear sky, a few clouds creeping in overnight tonight, but I do think we start tomorrow on the mostly to partly clear side. Not too bad of a start to your Saturday, but don't forget about that chill in the air. Couple of little spotty showers midday and beyond. Nothing that should cancel any outdoor plans or anything like that, but definitely more clouds than sun for your Saturday. I think actually the bulk of our rain on Saturday and Sunday will be overnight. Uh, maybe a couple little pockets of the heavier stuff, but this is going to pass through pretty quickly. Maybe a few scattered showers on your Sunday morning. After that, mostly just some clouds that linger around through the end of the we weekend and some of those into the start of your work week too, but no washouts for the weekend and we're just a couple degrees warmer, so I wouldn't cancel any of those plans just yet. Just be watching out for those stray showers, especially late Saturday and early Sunday. A cold front will pass sometime on Sunday, even just a couple days out here. We're still not exactly sure the timing of that front. Do count on temperatures being warmer than today, but they could definitely be falling throughout your Sunday, depending on the timing of that front. Next week looks warmer, but still some uncertainties. Count, at least, count on at least a chance for some showers Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday next week.